Uh, just having a bit of a, a coffee break at the moment with an apple strudel still in Austria. A lot of traffic, a lot of traffic. Well, it's a Sunday, isn't it? So, but it is very, very, very. Um, anyway, there you go. Still optimistic about getting through to Slovenia or being well later on. Just a bit of a grueler of this last 60 or 70 miles or so. Anyway, something occurred to me uh, that I wanted to tell you about. Um, uh, anybody who's watching the other stuff will know that um, part of uh, what I'm doing uh, over here is I'm sending back uh, videos to my local primary school, Balkan Primary School, who are following it and sort of using it as an educational thing, geography and history and transportation and whatever else. Right, so something occurred to me because it's a beautiful little school. Um, I'm guessing there's about 100 pupils, that's all. Uh, so I'm thinking about 15 to a class somewhere around there. And where I did my talk, um, which was in the main hallway, and they brought all the kids in from the age of four right the way through to 12 years of age. And how they have them all seated or sitting on the floor, um, the little four-year-olds at the front, and it goes progressively back to the back. So we had various little questions and answers that we were answering about. And they're all brilliant questions that they asked us. And one thing that they've done is they've given me a little um, mascot, uh, which is a little Welsh dragon. We called him Dewi. And Dewi's joined me and he's, you know, on the trip with me. So one of the questions one of them said was, you know, how would uh, Dewi be um, transported? Okay, so that was a very good question. So we, I said, well, there's two choices really. We can either strap him to the front, um, which some bikers do, uh, the little mascots, um, but he's going to get an awful lot of dead flies and he's going to get wet in the rain and one of his limbs could fly off, you never know, do you? Um, or we could keep him in the safe custody of one of the panniers while I'm riding along and then periodically when we want to take photographs, um, I just whiz him out and, you know, there we go, take a photograph. So if you think about it, when that went to a vote, you can guess which way it went, can't you, really? Uh, and that is all the little four-year-olds and five-year-olds and even six-year-olds on the first two or three rows, they all put their hands up and said, oh, no, 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 please look after him. He's, he's a cutie and, you know, we care for him. and we, They're full of kindness at that age, aren't they? So they, you know, all their hands went up without any exceptions to say, please keep him in a pannier, in one of your panniers, and then you can look after him and just bring him out in the nice sunshine keep him wet, he doesn't want to get wet does he, or dead flies, everybody over the age of 10, oh no chance whatsoever, let him have the ride, you know, who cares if he loses an arm or a leg on route, you know, just, just, and it occurred to me, I was riding along today and I thought, at what stage does this actually happen, how do these sweet little, wonderful little girls transform, because this is girls as well as lads, but, but I'm talking specifically about the girls here. So at what stage do they actually get where they change from being sweet and kind to, to, to this other side of them? And we all know that over the next three to four years, they're 12 years of age, these girls now, over the next three to four years, they are going to break someone's heart, aren't they? They are. And they're going to do it purely and simply because they can. There's no other reason. They, they aren't doing it. They don't wake up and think, they just wake up and think, I can break some fella's heart. And this is, it's happened to so many of us. And then we just live in existence after that. I mean, it happened to me when I was 15, 16. She came along and she may as well have got hold of one of those um, steak mallets. You know those steak mallets where they smash the steak together? I mean, that's what basically she did. She broke my heart into smithereens and then sort of handed it back to me and said, there you go, fella, you know, go and enjoy your life. Go and see if you can get out of that one, get over that. And you never do, you see. You, you, you just you just mosey on through life. You just go through the motions until you die, basically. I and mean, then it's and us fellas. What we do is we end up taking up like inane um, hobbies. It just kills time. That's all. We, all we're doing is just killing time. We can't get over this stuff, so therefore we just kill time. Like some of us go out and buy a bag of golf bats or whatever they're called, golf clubs, and, and, and we follow around the little white ball 18 times in the day, putting it in a little hole, bringing it pointless, absolutely pointless, wasting time, just killing time. And then others, like me, I don't play golf, but, but I know plenty of fellas that do play golf. Me and fish, we waste their time and they sit in a riverbank for hours on end. I don't care if I can catch anything, it's just a means to an end, it's just killing time after that after your heart's been smashed, you, you just, yeah, you just, you don't get over it, you see, so my, my message to 
to the girls at Bolt Gwyn, but not only to them, you know, for, for the world over, if you like. It, we know you can do it, just don't. Just don't do it. Just don't don't go around smashing hearts. Just just because you can, okay? Just just stay those nice little four to six year olds who are still full of kindness. Just stay like that. Now there's two types of people, there's a lot of people, different types watching this, but there's two types of people I'm interested in here. And they're both teachers, okay? And one type or kind of teachers would be the male teachers. Now I know full well that without exception, every single male teacher that watches this video is gonna turn around and say, this, this guy's right, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him in the national curriculum. What he's talking about is sense. Get, get this video out, you should, you, they, they would publish it, I know they would. They're gonna agree with me, they're gonna say, go for it, this guy's talking sense. Get this out in the open marketplace, get all girls to listen to this. But we also know that the lady teachers, the female teachers, they're gonna go, no, 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 aren't they? We know it, don't we? They're gonna sit there and go, nah. This is not for publication. This is not for sharing. This is, you know, this video is not even going to get as far as both win primary school, is it? Because mothers and teachers are going to give it a once-over listen to, and they're going to go, uh-uh, my daughter is not going to listen to this. That is exactly what they're going to do. And tragically, life is just going to continue and more and more and more hearts are going to be smashed to smithereens relentlessly and carelessly. Just think about it. Just... Some of us never get over it. We just fish. We just go fishing. We just play golf. We just kill time. And someone somewhere is responsible. And they should face up to the fact. Serious message, I know. I can't just keep on doing triviality and humorous stuff. Sometimes, sometimes things have just got to be said. I've finished my coffee. I've had my apple strudel. Off on a bike ride now. Just killing time.